Yo, what's going on with y'all today? I'm be showing y'all 10 essential VSTs y'all need to be able to become successful in making samples. For this video, I decided I wanted to do three VSTs, maybe four, like as a bonus for just sounds and then the rest being effects because I always believe that effects can make any type of sound different, and more unique. With that being said, if y'all new to the channel, make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe. Let's try to hit 15 likes on this video. And with that being said, let's get right to it. So for the first actual sound VST, I wanted to use Analog Lab. Now I think personally, Analog Lab is the best. Any type of genre of music you wanna do, you're able to use Analog Lab for it because it has a bunch of instruments and also it has, it gives you it gives you the opportunity to sound design your own type of sound, whatever sound that you think you can use. Like you could use any of these instruments right here. You can create your own effect. Not only does it have pretty good stock sounds, but you can also get, but you could obviously you could also get user sound banks. And I use a lot of them. So I'm gonna show y'all a stock piano that's already in analog lab. Um, the Antarctica uh, Grand Piano, and this is what it sounds like with no effects. All right, so second, I have contact. Now, I already said Analog Lab is my number one, but this is a close tie to it. I love, love, love contact. It's able to replicate live instruments. Like every bank in here is sounds the most realistic way possible. Just, just what in any type of bank. There's a lot of banks. Now contact is OD expensive, I ain't gonna lie to you. Especially when once you start buying uh, banks. And with that, I'm gonna be showing y'all my favorite bank out of contact and that's the Neuer piano. So just the Neuer piano with no effects is what it sounds like. Yeah, contact is my number two, almost number one, but analog just has a lot more. So finally, for my last one, I wanted to do, uh, it's a lot to it, but the SRX bundle, especially SRX Orchestra. SRX Orchestra just has a bunch of, well, like brass, strings, flutes, pads, whatever you can really think of, it has it. I love using this. I just recently got the whole bundle and I used it almost in every sample since. I love using strings in this bundle itself because it it sounds the most realistic in my opinion. Contact has some very realistic sounding ones, but I, I like using them for like for the high octaves because it sounds the most realistic to me. And you could even use them for like full sounds kind of like this. I love SRX Orchestra. And there's a lot, like you can see right here, there's the brass, dance tracks, electric piano, keyboard, orchestra, string, studio, and world. Um, I like using the orchestra one by itself because it includes, in some of the presets, it has like brass on top of strings, brass, strings, and flutes, strings, and flutes. 
um strings and a keyboard like it it has a bunch of presets that it includes multiple instruments in one like if you took for example this this preview right here you could have it it has some really it has some very good low range and some high range as well so you could imagine this in like an intro to like a little baby sample like the first the number one track on the album if you get what i'm trying to say i love i love the whole srx bundle i think it's very affordable and if you can get the whole bundle i highly recommend it for if you want to make things with strings flutes and then as a bonus as a bonus i would say expand expand has a lot of good stuff for it being a very affordable plugin it's 15 dollars like look at all the stuff that it has it has a lot of good has a lot of good pads i like using the some of the strings in here the leads are solid the pianos are solid the vocals are, are all right um i like using some of the brass in here as well um like i said it's 15 dollars. it's usually on sale for a lot less um you could actually get a lot of good uses out of this and even create your own sounds as well so i highly recommend this as well so now get into the effects Chaper box is basically a more advanced i would say gross beat and halftime um it has a lot of good presets right here like volumes you could just have side chains and it has like even patterns to it um that's just the volume tab as you can see right here it has time it has its own, it has its own reverse that i don't like to use personally while using it in the actual sample but i will use it for a preview instead of having to render out a sample and then reverse it i could just open up shaper box and it reverses it for me so i already get an idea if, if i want to export the sound if that makes sense it even comes with a reverse pitch to where it pitches it up an octave um like i said it has a lot of reverses patterns it's a pretty solid plugin i have this i only have shaper box 2 but i still need to get shaper box 3. um it has a very good pan that i use a lot um you could even create your own presets as well which i like you could edit the stock presets kind of like gross beat but i just like using this one more because i feel like there's more to do with shaper box than there is gross beat so just to give you an example like this is what i like doing or when i want to know if i want to reverse my melodies or not sometimes I, i'm lazy i don't like to just i don't like to render things out and then find out that I don't like the reverse so what I'll do is I'll just go into shaper box and then pull out the reverse and I'll understand if I want to keep it reverse or not and like I said there's a pitched one what I really like about shaper box is that there's a randomize effect where it just randomizes the points right here so you can literally just find endless possibilities for a sample not saying that all of these are gonna be good, but you could find yourself some. For my next effect, I'm gonna say Tremulator. I love using Tremulator because I love what it does to samples. Um, all it basically does is just, it's not really a side chain, it's more of a ducking sound, but depending on how you use it, it could, it could be fire. What I like normally doing with Tremulator is just lowering the bus up and down until I find something I like. And sometimes I'll even create an automation clip just to have this like in the last bar of a sample. For my next effect, I'm gonna have to recommend Panman. I love using Panman, even though there's a pen in Shaper Box. Um, I'm more comfortable with this pen, with this pen VST because I know how to adjust the rates and smoothing. Um, I love using this. I use this in all my strings and vocals um especially because it lets me have the ability to adjust the width how harsh or soft i want it to touch each side before before going back and it also lets me adjust the rate and if i want to go between back and forth or only have it pan to the left or the right i love using pan man i highly recommend it um yeah finally for my last sound toy but uh my last sound toy vsc i love using effect rack effect rack is a very powerful vsc if you know how to use it it comes with a bunch of presets by itself but i, I started uh learning how to like use these by itself um but for example just pulling out these vsts it basically just it helps for me it helps with my cpu because my cpu is ass 
um i like just using them because it comes with a bunch of stuff like reverbs uh distortions compressors i love using them my next plugin i would have to recommend portal i love using portal because the best way i could explain portal is if you give three people the same bit the same piano and you give each of them portal it's going to be a different sound for each person depending on the preset because portal all it does is just portal manipulates the sample the midi and it just does different stuff to them and once you learn how to actually get in here and use the controls uh it's very strong I know a lot of people love to use portal for nardo wick samples and that's fine but once you learn how to like use the delays in here and stuff um it gets very strong also has a bunch of default presets i have uh, some of the user presets as well some of the people um i love using portal but sometimes it's a little too strong and i could just lower it uh, with this knob right here to make it dry or wet Like this, like it would be a different sound without it. But like I said, it's very strong. So you have to just be careful with how you use it. Um, and it also does leave like a nasty delay, which you could just turn off with just the automation clip. So finally for my last VST, I highly recommend Pitch Wheel. Pitch Wheel is a very cheap VST. Basically what it does is let you transpose the sound of your sample um up and down you could go and select any type of range that you want up to 48 um and you could go either 24 semitones down or 24 up usually i like to have it here at 24 so i could just go either octave up or octave down um all it does is just manipulate the sound and pitches it it doesn't actually transpose the samples i love using this all the time when i want to know if i have a whole bunch of uh midis in one pattern uh instead of having to go here highlight everything and then transpose it what i'll do is go into pitch wheel and then go up or down but it doesn't actually like i said it doesn't actually transpose the midis for you it just tells you what it would sound like five semitones down and then you would have to actually go and transpose it it's basically for me a time saver because i like to transpose my samples the whole time that i'm making them and yeah i highly recommend pitch wheel if you want to do the same so those are 10 essential vsts that i highly recommend for y'all if y'all enjoyed the video or learned something new make sure y'all hit that like button with that being said i'm out